This is the desert cottontail. It is native to the Mojave Desert. The behavior that I have decided to study is the cottontail's awareness of its surroundings to protect itself from predators, therefore enhancing its fitness. As I show in all the videos I have taken, cottontails come out of their burrows usually dawn and dusk and other times during the night. Cottontails are mostly a nocturnal species. This helps them evade predators, camouflage, and deal with the desert heat. As this video shows, the cottontail is using its vision, hearing, and smell to know that I am nearby. My hypothesis for causation is desert cottontail use visual, auditory, and olfactory senses to detect nearby predators. A study by Polstilnik was done to see if cottontails will use their olfactory senses to detect red fox urine close to their burrows and deter them from entering. Urine had no measurable effect on burrow usage. In the study, cottontails lived in more urban environments like this one next to the road. The authors suggested that cottontails live in more urban areas to protect themselves from predators. My hypothesis for development is young cottontails develop familiarity with predator location, smell, sound, and become better at detection. Studies by Arias del Razo showed that cottontails were found in areas of low visibility so they could effectively hide from predators. Another study by Panzeri concluded that cottontails avoid moonlit nights because they are easier to spot. In this video taken at night, the cottontail acts frozen and then tries to escape because it knows it's being seen. Another behavior to avoid predators deals with choosing when and where to feed and rest. My hypothesis for evolution is over generations, cottontails have evolved to feed in certain patches and certain times to avoid predators. Robert Harrison explained how desert cottontails and black-tailed jackrabbits live in the same habitat and can survive together. He gives evidence of the two species eating at different times and eating different plants during their feeding periods. Also, jackrabbits tend to be more out in the open while desert cottontails are in more bushy areas, suggested by Arias del Razo. Lastly, my hypothesis for the function of the behavior is individuals with greater awareness and heightened senses have greater fitness. Learning the right place and time to keep yourself safe from predators increases survival and Arias del Razo exclaimed that the predator-prey relationship was inversely related, showing that in areas where the predator frequents, the prey is not near and vice versa. Arias del Razo also states that the desert cottontail use their eyes and ears to detect danger early so they can make a decision such as freezing or running. As we learned in Module 2, desert cottontails use signals and cues to make informed decisions on their next move. They receive sound, light, and chemical signals so that they can make a decision to freeze or run. Cottontails intercept cues from predators to make an informed decision to find a safe place to rest or graze. This last video shows the speed of a cottontail running away from me taking the video. I very much enjoyed making this video and project and I hope you guys enjoyed it and here are my references.